This gravel has almost killed me. Woo! Correct me if I'm wrong, because I'm very... <laughs> Welcome back to Vintage Story. I hope you guys enjoyed episode three. It was definitely a little bit longer, almost 50 minutes, but I wanted to make sure that I gave you guys enough content to satiate your thirst for Vintage Story. I'm excited because we've entered the Copper Age. So we've got the Copper Pickaxe, we've got the Copper Hammer, and we've got to start on our Anvil Mold down there. But today we definitely, definitely, definitely need to take a trip out west because we've got some copper spots. I think it's time to get an anvil down. I think it's time to make a chisel. And I really need to get some work in on, on rock collecting too, I would say. Ooh, pretty. Firstly, I definitely think we should cook some raw bush meat. Um, we might be a little hungry and it'll be a nice easy stack to take with us. I am just going to put all this down. Maybe not all of it. Maybe like 14 pieces. Yeah, that's probably good. I'll put the brown coal back. Oh, we need to make a charcoal pit as well. Okay, that is something to put on the list. Okay, so we are getting through it. We've got half of it cooked up and we are just waiting on, well, three more. Um, and I don't really have to wait on this. We could just go mining since I have all these berries. Uh, west is this way. We will definitely bring our torches. We will try not to get hit by lightning. Oh, and maybe do a quick check of our berries over here. Okay, cranberries are ripe. These are becoming ripe. Six to seven days. This yellow apple tree cutting is dead, but we do have two of them that survived. So, actually I was going to cut that down, but I don't want to waste inventory space. I also know, and I do apologize for when I open the inventory, this looks really glitchy and crappy in post, but I have no lag when I open my inventory, and I'm not quite sure how to fix that yet. One thing to note, I do have a couple new mods that I've added in. Big thank you to Siri for giving me the idea to put Beehive Kiln. Massive thank you as well to Fish, the always amazing mod. Uh, who gave me the mannequin mod as well as the Napster mod, which will make it much easier for clay forming. And we'll, we'll go through those as we get to them. Let's go find our copper spot. Oh my God, I'm so stupid. There goes the torches. All right, that's fine. It's fine. It happens. Get through these trees. Oh, wait. They weren't just there. They're here. Maple leaves. <gasps> oh, oh, so cool. Okay, hold up. We do not want to hurt. Wait, is that on top? Is that on top of it? No, 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 no. I do not want to break the top one. I just want to isolate the bees. Okay, bees have been isolated. What do I do with this? Population size poor. Nearby flowers one. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, side quest. We need to find flowers. I don't know if, oh, that counts as a flower. We need to find a couple flowers because these bees are not getting the proper, I don't know, is it nutrition? The, the proper pollens? Okay, how many nearby flowers? Three. They, oh, they have to be that close? Okay, hold up. Still three. Okay, we're gonna leave these guys here, but at least they have a plethora of flowers to choose from now. And we will come back at a later time. Maybe I should, no, this is pretty close to where it is. That's the first time I've ever seen a beehive. 
So I am very, very happy about that, actually. Our copper spot is right next to it. All right, let's find ourselves a good place to dig down. Basically right by the bees. <laughs> We're doing the Minecraft straight down method. All right, let's get some poor quality native copper. I'm so happy to finally be able to go mining and I could dig the conglomerate rock out. This is beautiful. We even get like a little background. I'm not sure if you guys can hear it, but the uh, the bees are are kind of making an appearance here. I'm not sure if you guys can hear that. Okay, continuing on. We're getting that anvil today. I am determined. We are gonna leave this spot. This has poor quality, uh, disgusting copper anyway. Okay, now you can see as well. I think we are going to delete this because I I don't care much for this poor copper. No, 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 no. Okay, let's not swim with our torch. I am just gonna move north. And there should be some more copper spots. Uh, probably skip this this spot here. This is a uh, quartz spot. We'll have to get tin bronze, I think. I don't think we can. I don't think we can mine quartz with a copper. Okay, but correct me if I'm wrong because I'm very. <laughs> oh my god, my light drop! Oh my gosh, I am so scared. This is hell. <laughs> go, go, go. Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. I haven't died yet. We can do this. We can make it out. He's not following us. Maybe? Is this the same freaking puddle that we were just in? No, what is happening? I need a light. Oh my gosh. Okay, <laughs> we've made it to another spot safely, somewhat, and I did fail to bring a shovel, so a little bit of a whoopsie, but it'll be fine. It'll be a-okay. I'll take some extra dirt. We'll be able to get up. All right, and we're just going to dig this way. Here we go. Oh, we got a crystallized chunk. Even though it's poor, I don't care. It's a crystallized chunk and we will be saving that to just, just look at, essentially. Look how pretty this is. Okay, is there any more copper? There is! Okay, I'm glad we did not leave yet. If we could find a crystallized chunk of medium copper, that would be also sweet. We did not get a crystallized chunk of medium copper, but that's alright. I might dig over here just a little bit. Oh, no, 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 that's the other side. Out we go. And goodbye. I'm not sure if this would in any way help me when prospecting, but I am just getting these extra pins out of the way because they bother me. There's so many. Okay, this should be our next copper spot. And again, I'll probably just dig straight in because we're on a bit of an incline or a decline, depending on which way you're looking at it. And right away, I see the copper. Let's go, let's go. 
medium quality. Maybe we can get that crystallized chunk. Fingers crossed. Well, <laughs> I think that might be all we have for copper here. <laughs> My jaw was on the floor. Holy sh! That just almost killed me. That almost that that. That almost took me out. I am hurting. I need some horsetail poultice. I just want to collect that and let's never ever go back here again. Oh my gosh. Okay, we <laughs> side quest. <laughs> We're doing some horsetail poultices as soon as humanly possible. blackberries. I actually should eat some food. That is a great reminder. Oh my goodness. Here is another copper spot. And we will pop down there shortly. You know what? We will regen health as well. Let's just try not to get messed up and maybe we don't even need the horse to help with this. Let's just start digging. I think that's it. We're gonna get out of here. Oh, I am scared. Immediately I am scared. We did not get a crystallized chunk. That is all right. We are getting conglomerate stone though, so I do like that aspect of it just because, well, we do need this to uh, finish up our house. So that would be what we need it for. I am just gonna light this torch super quick. This will also clear up a space in our inventory. I'll just pop that back over in our left hand. Okay. I didn't even need to put this here. Let's head directly west. Do a little hop skip over this. Should be a clear shot. Oh, here with the gravel. I'm not loving that. I am not. We're going to start here. And we'll just see what happens. Keeping in mind that we cannot dig too far up. I feel like this one's going to be a bad idea. This gravel has almost killed me. <laughs> well, we got to do a bit of a run, you guys. Ow, wait, hold up. How far are we away? We're only 600 blocks away. It's going to be totally fine. Luckily, the sun will be coming up here soon as well because it is about 3 a.m. currently. Hmm, this maybe wasn't my brightest of ideas. Oh my god. I'm gonna break both my ankles before I even get there. Up the mountain. Over the mountain. <laughs> talk about it guys I'm sorry wait are we getting somewhere let's not jump too crazy yeah maybe perhaps oh my gosh why ah. One bite by any wolf, and we are gone again. One singular bite. Worth tail poultice. Hold up. Oh, we are so close. Home stretch. Home stretch. Uh, oh, 
I do have the corpse mod. Oh, wonderful. Let's just fall into this. Awesome. Collect our bones. <gasps> wonderful. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. How do you make horsetail poultice? Four and two. Okay, so we have enough to make eight horsetail poultice, and we are immediately going to slap these on. All of them. All of them. We have full health. We are leaving this spot, though. I don't care about this spot. This spot equals sadness. This is our first death. No, all of this is gravel, which means all of these are going to be death pits. So we could just go home. We'll finish up the anvil because we have plenty of copper here. Thank you again to Siri for suggesting uh, beehive kilns because that will be epic when we have tons and tons of things to fire. And we'll just take some brick, which shouldn't be too hard to come by. Alright, back on the peninsula. Home sweet foundation. And the rest of our food is cooked. Which I think maybe we had eaten all of our bush meat prior? Yeah, I think we did. Alright, I wonder how much we would be able to smelt with our three pieces of brown coal. I bet not very much. So I think we need to work on a charcoal pit. We'll keep it rather humble to start off. I do not want this to take me 10 years to fill. <laughs> That's for sure. Okay, so now what we need next is tree, which we can absolutely find over here off peninsula. We could get like a massive tree, but I don't think they'll grow back as a massive tree, so. Like this one, I don't think this will grow back to be that large if I if I cut it down. Okay, this isn't something that's easily noticeable, this large one here. So we'll just cut this one down. Since it's tucked right in the back. Okay, yes, we like that. We like that a lot. Anything up here? No, cool, ah. Uh... Alright, I might as well take the rest of this tree as well, this poor thing. Let me see if that's the bottom. Here we go. Much easier. And, you know what, just for poops and gigs, we're gonna take this pine tree as well. We'll grab all this and just book it home. Oh my god! Oh my god! I, what did I tell you? What? I don't even have anything to fight you with right now. Stone? These are my house stones. Dinner's on me, you could say. Thank you, good sir. Thank you. Thank you for your service in my belly. I don't have inventory. Sorry, pine seeds. I will come back for your bones. That needed to happen. That was fairly close to my area, my abode. Alright, it's definitely raining. It tends to rain a lot, it feels like. <laughs> Let's check. Rainfall in this area, very common. Righto. Righto. Alright, we'll take this wood then, and we will turn that into firewood. Take this wood, firewood. Oh, you know what? This is easier anyway, because I can take this wood. 
firewood and I'll just toss it right here instead. Oh no, we may need more tree already. Okay. It's okay, it's okay. Well, that was one third. Again, I'm hoping we do not run into any wolf bows. But we will see. Oh, that is such a cool 2x2 two two oak tree, but we are leaving that alone. Alright, I suppose we could take some of these big trees. Right. I think that's everything. Probably grab one or two more trees and then we'll pop back home. Okay, I think this should be fine. I do hear another wolf in the distance. But if I see him, I will clap his little cheeks. I swear to God. I know what I said. I know what I said. Oh ho! Here we go. No, not here we go. Oh, that's right. It's here. Okay. So I'm not even sure if this is gonna be enough. In fact, I don't think it is. Let's check this out. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> we are still super short. Let's see. Maybe I should have made this smaller. <laughs> I wish it could rain every day in real life at my house. <laughs> oh, here we go. This should definitely be enough. Wonderful, let's go home. Okay, now where can I see all the pretty... Right here, okay. Alright, that is a... That's kind of a large pit, for real. And then we are gonna still need a little bit of firewood so that we can start a fire on it. Let's attempt to light it up super quick. As soon as it says lit on the top center part of the screen, we are slapping down this piece. Okay. Got it! Okay, got it. It did not go out before the raid. However, we do have a brown coal spot over here, so let's see if we can go mine that with our copper pickaxe. This is awesome! We have 31 brown coal! Okay, uh, let's just keep this spot in mind and dig ourselves a safe, safe way out. And now, we can take our now we can take our crucible, plop that down, and we've got plenty of copper. Let's grab that. 720? I think 715 would still technically do it. I think they'd give it to me, but I'm not gonna risk it. Well, 20 extra, 820 instead of 720. So we'll make an extra pickaxe as well. Yeah, make sure we keep our crystallized chunks safe. Now we wait. And I will grab my tongs here as well. 
and I will pop a squat. I'm sorry, this is taking so long that I actually went and I put together a little toast. I got myself a glass of milk. <laughs> I mean, this is just taking forever. close yay oh perfect oh I need to put my tongs on and we are just gonna fill the rest of that bad boy up oh beautiful beautiful and we'll take care of this extra pickaxe as well anything left I put way too much in there oh my god wait what wait what my math was off oh no we can actually do some of the flooring here while we wait. Let me put my torch in my hand. So let's do a front entryway made of stone, which will go up to here. And then I think I'll pop in these walls by one. So it's the true entry room. Easy peasy. Uh, these rooms back here, as well as this right here will be conglomerate stone. Beautiful. Beautiful. And then these two rooms will all be conglomerate stone. Wait, 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 wait. Fish said to me that he enjoyed my my fun little jump. So we're gonna do a little bit of a Ooh, okay, okay. A little bit of a magic jump. Can we do something similar with this perhaps? Oh, yeah, no, no kidding, huh? All right, well, that takes care of both of these rooms. Now we just need to go put together some conglomerate stone. Where did I put that stone? Okay, here's one. Here we go, here we go. All right, we have managed to make 48 conglomerate stone, conglomerate cobblestone. Something I didn't think about, which would have been smarter, would be making them into slabs. Oh my gosh. And slap down some of these cobblestones. And I'm gonna do slabs here. I wanted to just take a second to say thank you so much. I appreciate you. And super quick, we're gonna check and see if our anvil is done. It's cold. It's ready. We have our anvil. Oh my gosh. So let's put this down in our first room. We'll put it here instead. And now we have our hammer and another pickaxe as well. You know, we'll just toss these into our copper chest, why not? I'm thinking at this point, because I did actually want to stick by like 20, 25 minute episodes, we're gonna cut it off here, all right? I'm recording this on a Thursday, so this is definitely going to be out later than a Friday. And I do apologize for that yet again, I'm sorry. My schedule, it's crazy, this ADHD, it has me, I'm sorry. You know, it takes a little extra for me to get motivated sometimes, but we always come back around. <laughs> We're kind of cutting it off here just because I'm going to start recording the next episode and that is going to come out the following Friday. So we're going to be back on our Friday release date. With that, thank you guys. I can't believe we are really getting started here. This is sweet. I am happy. Are you happy? I keep pressing the left button, but it just kind of looks like I'm gyrating. Um, goodbye.